Hello again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We've been tracking North America softwood lumber and panel prices every Friday since 1952. At the moment, we have 450 individual commodities that we publish every Friday for subscribers. Uh, these include uh, sawmills, the lumber manufacturers, wholesalers, also uh, retailers, uh, home builders, um, railways, you know, some governments, universities, maybe some banks, different uh, interests in uh, the solid lumber market. And um, this is my monthly update that I do on YouTube. Uh, it's just the end of March right now, so I have, you know, four weeks worth of information since my last update. On my website, uh, madisonsreport.com, I put uh, a little snapshot every week. So, for uh, the benchmark dimension lumber item, <clears throat> Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4, and we call it the benchmark because it is by far the largest volume produced and sold across North America, is also the largest um, item in the mix of what people see when they look at lumber futures on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So from last month, um, <clears throat> when the price was uh, U.S. $998 per thousand board feet. Uh, it's gone up a little bit, not too much this month. So we're printing for the past few weeks flat $1,040 per thousand board feet. Um, pretty unbelievable, you know, if you ask someone two years ago or five years ago or, you know, just over a year ago, they would have never imagine that the price would be over a thousand dollars. By way of comparison, I had to write this down because the numbers are so amazing. I mean, when you have a change in price that is more than the price used to be a year or two ago, that's really astonishing and something to talk about. So one year ago, the Western Spruce Pine fir was $356 per thousand board feet, which is high. I mean, that's a good price. Uh, break even is somewhere around to 25, maybe 250, depending on where the mill is. So from one year ago, the price of Western Spruce 2x4s is up $684 or 192% compared to two years ago when it was $378 because 2018 was a better year than 2019. Um, the price uh, is up $662 or 175%. So when people were asking me, let's say in third quarter or fourth quarter last year, what did I think the prices were going to be? Um, I did say at the time somewhere between 600 and 800 and probably closer to 600 because it comes down to supply and demand. Um, supply did improve, but not to um, the sawmill capacity utilization rates are still below optimal. In British Columbia here, you know, 50% of all Canadian lumber is produced in BC. They call them the super mills, uh, all uh, in the interior around Prince George area. Um, these mills are optimized to run three lines, three shifts, so 24 hours a day for seven days a week. Um, they were built, uh, installed around the early 2000s, uh, pretty much got ready to come online uh, right around there when the um, crash in U.S. housing 2006 happened, and so never really went to full capacity, never really ran three shifts, three lines. Um, so there is room for mills to bring more production. The problem is logs. So the timber supply in BC in the meantime really did reduce because we lost a lot of supply to the mountain pine beetle. You know, that was from 2005 till now. And you can compare this to the loss of supply in the U.S. in the last year or two, especially last year from the fires. Uh, the West Coast specifically got hit quite badly. Washington State, Oregon, uh, that's the inland species, is your western spruce pine fir, also your hemp fir, some larch, and then your coastal species with your Douglas fir, uh, not so much cedar uh, down south, but in British Columbia, lots of cedar, well, lots of cedar, more cedar than is in Washington State and Oregon anyway, right? So 
where at the same time as U.S. housing starts, uh, home sales and home prices are really also improving by leaps and bounds, uh, the lumber supply is just trying to keep up. It's not just new housing, it's also remodeling and refinishing. That is taking a lot of supply um, out of the retail yards, not so much specifically with the wholesalers um, and the resellers, but yes, with the retailers. Uh, the remodeling is not, the data on the remodeling is not as easy to get as the housing starts and the home sales. So Madison's, we're doing what we can to pick that up from, uh, comes out of the National Association of Home Builders a little bit with the census and a few other uh, industry trackers, um, maybe quarterly, usually annually, and they call it an index. So it's not the pure numbers, it's just the range of whether it's up or down, and it's up. And it's going to be up still. The um, outlook for this year, 2021, is it's not going to slow down. Even if U.S. housing slowed down right now, there's a lag. And it's going to be a while before people who ordered wood three weeks ago, six weeks ago, are even going to receive what they ordered. So there's a buoyancy there to the lumber prices that's going to carry through regardless um, but the latest data, uh, I know that the statistics for the housing starts that just came out are down compared to the month before, but they're up compared to the year before. Um, I'm going to do a couple more videos uh, after this to talk about that, but uh, for this one, I'm going to stick specifically to the lumber prices. So let's have a look at my tables and my graphs for the latest data. And get an impression of what happened in the last month, and I'll try to explain possibly what could happen over the next few weeks. So as you can see, uh, there is some price movement down uh, in the previous week, uh, but up uh, from one month ago. And I would draw your attention to the bottom row there, the softwood plywood. The price one month ago and one week ago is showing up. A lot of times the plywood prices, even OSB, are a leading indicator for the dimension lumber. If, uh, if the panel price moves up or down, uh, quite often, one or two weeks later, the dimension lumber price also does. So we'll see next week what happens with those 2x4s. And so here is the same data as the table you were just looking at, uh, presented as a graph. And once again, that gray line, if you look at Canadian softwood plywood, it was in the middle of the pack in terms of price in January of 2019. In April of 2020, it was uh, the lowest priced of all of these items. But now when we're in uh, March of, at the end of March of 2021, the price of that plywood has shot past all the others and is now at the top. So in a week or two, we'll see if prices get stronger or if they stay the same. And just specifically comparing Western Spruce 2x4s, the benchmark uh, dimension lumber item, this is the same graph, uh, just presented differently with the years um, individually. And you can see the blue line in uh, last year, how high that price got, no one could believe it. Literally unknown for 2x4s to go more than $1,000 per thousand board feet. And here we are in spring of 2021, and it's even higher. So the next few weeks will tell us if this price will correct down or if it'll stay the same. If it goes up, that will be really astonishing. Okay, so you can see what I mean about uh, dimension lumber prices, uh, how much higher they are than one year ago and two years ago. To build a normal house in North America, Europe, Japan, you need three things. You need dimension, uh, two by four, possibly two by six if it's a multifamily or if it's a larger, taller house. A stud, some kind of stud, usually two by four, and a panel. So you need plywood or OSB for the walls, uh, for the roofing, uh, for the floors. So there are fewer uh, plywood producers across Canada, US, than there are dimension lumber. Uh, in that way, the manufacturers are more disciplined in terms of uh, setting a price. Um, there's not as much wild swings over time 
what happens with dimension lumber sometimes if there's one area or one large manufacturer who uh, puts up, up a sale and uh, lowers the price, that lowers the price for everyone. So that doesn't really happen with plywood and OSB. There's definitely a floor. Uh, if demand is low, they just don't sell below that price uh, and the customer can take it or leave it. It doesn't matter. The, the panel mill will curtail. So the real leader uh, until a couple of years ago used to be OSB oriented strand board in the central zone. We call it Ontario. It would be, you know, central U.S. price. But uh, in the past couple of years, plywood has definitely overtaken that in terms of highest volume sales and uh, price leader uh, when the price changes. So the price of Canadian softwood plywood, 9.5 millimeters or 3 eighths inch, which is the benchmark, the, the standard right now is Canadian $1,252 per thousand square feet, um, which is up a little bit from the last update in the end of February, but is up $821 or 190% over one year ago. In March of 2020, Canadian Softwood Plywood was selling for $431. Two years ago, it was selling for $489. So once again, we have the change in the price. I mean, it's almost double what the price used to be. And people, like, they can't believe it. And, and, and they're like, this is people in the industry who've been manufacturing or selling or buying lumber for 40 years they're like it can't last the thing is the circumstances driving the high price is it gonna last yes it is a lot of people are saying it's not just through the end of this year 2021 but next year as well the momentum of demand for home buying for home renovating is actually increasing right now and it's only March, you know, it's, it's almost April, um, which is starting to become when activity uh, on housing picks up for the year. So I would say uh, people are asking me, you know, what's going to happen. What I think is that prices are not going to go down. Uh, they can't just go up forever. There are other building materials. People will delay. There's already lots of stories of people delaying projects. Uh, from what I can see, the largest uh, construction and builders, the states, I got a call from the um, housing uh, department of the state of Maryland a couple of weeks ago, um, building affordable housing, and, and they, they can't just stop doing that. So the price is being passed on to the end user. And when the price of a home is up, but the inventory of home is down, which is what we had from the latest data last week. This is not gonna stop, regardless of whether people are used to how high the prices are or think that it, it's insane or whatever people are saying. So um, I'll just stop there for now. And uh, if you want a more uh, often update, then check my website, madisonsreport.com. These graphs that I'm showing you, they go up once a week. And um, if you really want to know exactly what's happening with all the prices, the different commodities, the different species, the different regions, then subscribe. And you will see the 450 different prices updated every Friday. And you also get the commentary explaining what happened, why is the price moving, sawmill order file, inventory at the mills, log supply, transportation, all of these things. And... Um, Check back often because it looks like this year is just going to continue the ride that we had in 2020.